Two power companies in the Latrobe Valley have been granted extensions to their mining licences but will have to cease operations at the end of their new agreements. AGL has been given an 11-year extension and will now be able to mine coal at Luoyang until the end of 2048. Energy Australia will be able to mine at Yalorn until the end of 2032. In exchange, the power companies will now have to give five years' notice of any intention to close a power plant. Our aim here is to make sure that jobs are sustained uh, and that uh, the community can have certainty. The power companies have been given at least 17 years to rehabilitate the open cut mines once they stop generating electricity. The government has revealed it will extend mine licences for Latrobe Valley's major power plants to create 17 years of rehabilitation. It comes as NG decides to close the Hazelwood Pondage due to safety concerns. Charlotte Lamb reports. When one door opens, rather stays open, another closes. Resources Minister Tim Pallas will extend mine licences for Latrobe Valley's major power plants to ensure at least 17 years of rehabilitation. Our aim here is to make sure that jobs are sustained uh, and that uh, the community can have certainty that alternative power generation will occur. Energy Australia's licence for the Yulon mine will lengthen to 2051, while AGL's licence for the Luoyang mine extends to 2065. While there's hope for one industry, concern for another. Latrobe Valley Power Stations will now have to give five years' notice of their intention to close. The change in licensing means there will be no repeat of the Hazelwood closure, with workers given just six months to prepare. The state government will also extend Energy Australia's licence for the Yulon mine to 2051 and AGL's licence for Luoyang to 2065.